Hey guys, my name's Leon, I'm from Gigabyte, and today we're at Computex 2017 at Taipei 101 on the 36th floor. So we're here to talk to you about the X299 Aorus Gaming 3. This is a Newegg exclusive that you'll find at Newegg at launch, and this board has all the things you need to get your X299 platform ready to go. So you can see that it has a lighted PCH. This is where the chipset goes. We have metal shielding on the heat sinks with RGBs on it as well. We have RGB pin headers for RGBW light strips as well as RGB UV light strips. So depending on what you want to do, you can find these light strips on Newegg. We also included on the X299 platform this time a new feature, which is RGB fusion with digital LEDs. Digital LEDs lets you control individually addressable LEDs. So in a strip, you can actually create echelons or cascades depending on what you want to do. Some of the cool things on this board, you can see it's a quad channel board. It has eight dim slots. We do have support for M.2, so dual M.2s, one going up to 22.110 and one going up to 22.80. And we have a lot of USB 3.0 for users that need it. And if you look at the rear I.O., you can see that it also is future proof with USB 3.1 Gen 2 in Type-C and Type-A. And it has all of the features any gamer would need. So definitely, if you guys are looking to move into that X299 platform, check out this X299 Aorus Gaming 3 at Newegg and get it while it's still there. As we move over to the Aorus Gaming 7 and Aorus Gaming 9, you can see it has also LEDs directly on the armor, and these LEDs are digital LEDs. So similar to the digital LED pin header we had, this allows you to individually address each of the LEDs on the armor. All right, so we talked about some of our other X299 boards. This is our flagship model. This is our X299 Aorus Gaming 9. And from the look of it, you can see how much time that we've spent in R&D and development. On the rear I.O., you have a backlit color LED I.O. You have LEDs on the armor, and these are also digital LEDs. As we move around, you have diffusers between the memory slots, as well as your front panel USB. So a total on this board, you have six USBs. You have five USB 3.1s on the rear, and then one USB 3.1 Gen 2 on the front. So six USB 3.1 Gen 2s. All of these already on the board. Not only that, we also have this piece right here on top of the M.2 slots. This board supports three M.2 slots, each with thermal guard. Thermal guard is our heat sink that allows users to install M.2 drives and transfer at high speeds without thermal throttling or bottlenecks. This is very common in M.2 drives, and with the thermal guard, you'll avoid all of those problems. And as you can see on this board, we also have beefier PCIe metal shielding. So these PCIe metal shieldings, they're a lot thicker, and you can actually see that we've changed the way that the light diffuses across the PCIe slots, so it doesn't exactly light out and blind you in the eye. It actually glows beneath the PCIe slot. And as we move down towards the board, you can see we have a PCH, and this is actually an accent overlay that we can actually remove, and users that want, they can customize to however they see fit. If you want to do any screen printing or acrylic design beneath it, you can do something like that as well and just get a clear piece and lock it in. And we also spent a lot of time on our audio this time around. This time for our audio, we're using ESS. So we have an ESS codec, which is the top end audio solution. And with ESS, we're using Creative Sound Blaster 720. And with Creative Sound Blaster 720, we have features like this which is our Scout Radar 2.0. Scout Radar 2.0 allows users to actually, while in-game, get a look to see where your enemies are at for um, first-person shooters or any games where you're unable to see around the corner. So those are what some of the benefits that our X299 Aorus Gaming 9 offers to users. There's a lot more, so check back Newegg Studios to see what other videos we have in store for you guys, and we'll see you guys next time.